Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag budget meals under five dollars and I am going to make a recipe that I've never made before. It's from this cookbook and I'll be right back. Those of you that have watched me any time at all know that I we go back to this area of the country every other year and we've ate there at this place and it's in the northeast part of Oklahoma corn tomato bake it's 90 outside now and I'm going to make this in my skillet I'm going to adjust it and I think it's going to turn out good a fourth cup of butter and I don't think I put quite a fourth cup because I'm always putting my butter and cheese on a diet Put the butter, the green peppers, the onions, and, and garlic, and saute till tender. Well, I am going to use my peppers that I had in the freezer. And I have a little bit of mushrooms. I'm just going to dump this in. If I wanted them bite-sized, I should have done that earlier. And you guys can do it. Now, what I did here... I have put my seasonings in this little cup. Okay. I hear a train going by. is just about past. I did break these up a little bit more with my uh, with my little spatula thing, with my little thing. Here is my seasoning. So there's garlic and that's this type of things that you get at Walmart. Or a teaspoon of garlic. There's, well I haven't put the salt in yet. Oregano, an eighth teaspoon of oregano, which I put a little bit more of that. There's an eighth teaspoon of pepper and a fourth teaspoon of sugar. I think I have a little bit more of all those. And so I have all of that in here. I'm going to put it in right now. And then it calls for the flour. This is kind of making like a gravy. And then it's going to have milk in it. And I might should have had a little bit more. But you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't want to add any more. I, I've got water here. I don't want to add any more uh, butter to it. Because I don't want it really heavy. And I'm going to add a little bit more. You got it? There's more than one way here to do things. Okay. Because remember, I'm going to add some milk. I have two-thirds cup of milk to add. Now that looks like a mess, don't it? <laughs> you see down here at the bottom? So I'm going to go ahead and add this. See what happens. It's basically making a white sauce or a gravy sauce. And I'm going to use this little thing to stir it with now this is when one of those there have these one kind of um, little uh, whisk out that has a little flat side to it that would probably be good about now and I still see I think I'm gonna put a little bit more a little bit more liquid in there you know, this is what you do. Whenever you're making a recipe, make it your own. And sometimes you're pretty happy with the results of it. I turned my heat off for just a minute on here. You know, I have a gas stove, so. And I got my little whisk out and where I can um, whisk it a little bit better to make sure that this is. Now, I do have a can of tomatoes I'm going to be putting in it. I'm putting fire roasted, and it did call for just a cup, and I've got corn to put it in this. 
The, the tomatoes, you know, will have some juice in it too. I'm putting in this tomatoes for a cup of corn, but I'm using the whole can. And I'm hoping I like this good enough to have leftovers, you guys. You know me and my leftovers. Bring this back up to a boil. Okay, there's the corn going in. I'm going to switch back to this other. Need a little bit thinning it down a little bit, but we'll see. Now, if you wanted to put meat in this, I, I would put, uh, you could put chicken in here. Probably even hamburger. I think I'd have it done first before you put it in, you know, on a level either shredded or, or, um, or you, you can cook up your, you can cook up your hamburger. This is what some of them, I've heard different ones talk about. They cook a bunch of hamburger and then they divide it in containers and put it in the freezer and then you just pull out a little package and it's all done. Just dump it in there. You could do the same thing for chicken also. That needs cooking a little bit more. And then I'm going to put my cheese in there. Okay, I just got a little bit of salt. I'm hopefully that's not going to be too hot. I didn't get all the milk in there. Now, this was supposed to be a cup and a half of uh, cheese. I didn't measure it, but I'm going to say this is going to go inside, and then I'm going to melt it, and then on the top of it, now, this is where you normally put it in the oven and brown it and bake it. But, you know, it's so hot here, I am not doing that. So, this is going to be a cheesy. And on the top of it, I'm going to put the lid on it and let the, the last of the cheese melt in. I think I'm a spoon hog. I do use my spoons. Even just me here, I can have a whole sink full of spoons. Let's taste that. Mmm. You know what I would put in here? Yeah, a bay leaf. A couple. Bay leaves in it. I like bay leaves and tomato stuff. I don't know if you hear that bird out there. That's my neighbor's bird. Maybe I can get him to let me video it sometimes. Turn this down as low as my fire will go. And sprinkle this all around. I think I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, oregano on the top of it. Just a little bit. Here's my oregano. I'm going to sprinkle some on it. Now I'm just going to leave this on just for a couple minutes. I probably left that at least five minutes. Let this cool off a little bit and I'll be back for a taste test. Here it is. I took a little sneak bite of it. Now you could make this a lot of different ways, but this is the way I made it. And then I added some chips to go with it. And you could serve this as a you know, with vegetables also. It does have some in it, but... So let me try a taste of it. Mmm. I'll try a bite of this. See the cheese? Mmm. This is good, you guys. Try this one. If you like these kind of things that are in this, give it a try. It's so easy. Very inexpensive. Five dollars and under. You know, I just used a can of corn and a can of tomatoes. Did use my cheese. I did not do a breakdown. I know Brenda's so good about that. Thank you guys for watching today. 
I hope you'll come back tomorrow for hashtag new to me. In the meantime, I hope you remember Jesus loves you. And I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you. Be sure and go and check and see what everybody else posted for hashtag budget meals under $5. Thank you, Brenda, for hosting. Come back tomorrow for new to me.